I mean, it's absolutely crazy when you tell a, a person that it's illegal to save his seed from his last crop so that he can grow the next one. But that's what they're doing. And that's what they, then they give them nothing but the GMO. So now they're totally dependent upon the, the GMO. The first year, a lot of times they give it to them free. The next year, of course, they want, they, they have to pay for it. And of course, they don't have enough money to pay for it. So now they're destitute and off their farm and, and the, uh, the, uh, large commercial outfits have taken over all of the little tiny farmers, uh, uh plots. So if, if you think that that isn't just excruciating to watch, and we have seen it in India over and over and over again, where uh, uh, I'm sure I haven't seen it in Iraq, but I am sure that it's happening in Iraq. And I would not be a bit surprised if we don't see it in other uh, other parts of the world. We have literally seen it in India. Well, sir, if so, there's any question that they're diabolical, showing up with men and guns and saying, you can't plant your ancient varieties, you must buy GMO from us, and then it has terminator genes, they can't get seeds, it's patented, they come in, and, I mean, this is total crazy. tyranny. Well, it's not crazy yes. if you're evil, though. I mean, out in the open, and, and then here yes. it is, uh, Toronto bans bottled water sales citywide, but junk sodas remain legal. Again, they want you drinking the fluoride water. Uh, they're control but again, the precedent of telling Canadians, and now San Francisco is trying it, you can't drink the water you want. I, I mean, th th this is an incredible precedent of tyranny. Yes. 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 Unbelievable. And I, I find it, again, excruciatingly uh, painful to uh, have people allow that to occur, you know? If the, if the government says that you can't drink the water, then somebody ought to say, oh, no, not on my watch. Let me, let me jump in here. Uh, not only are we talking about the 128,000 Gujarati farmers who have killed themselves because of GMO cotton, directly because of GMO cotton. And that's and mainstream news. Pardon me? I mean, that's admitted, by the way. They're just killing themselves. Explain that. What's happening in India? Uh, what happens is that the GMO seed is given to the farmer. Now, remember, farmers in most of the world are marginal people in terms of the money economy. They're on and the they edge. Hold up, but they have no money. And if their crop fails, they're in very big trouble. So the GMO people come along, Monsanto comes along, and they give farmers... GMO cotton. And the operative word is give. Give farmers GMO cotton seed for free the first year. And they say, don't worry about it. You'll pay me next year because this crop will uh, resist drought. It will prove to be much more productive. You'll get more crop. You'll be rich. And you can pay me next year for this seed. And the farmer says, oh, wonderful. Plants the GMO crop, which requires more pesticide because the GMO crops have in large measure been created in order to consume high levels of pesticide, and the pesticides are like glyphosate, the second most toxic chemical, non-ionizing non, uh, radiation chemical known, known to provide... Uh, to to cause cancer and it's and, uh, well, when I saw mainline news mainline news that these GMO cottons leach poison into you when you wear it exactly and and we've run a whole series on morgellons uh, which is a nightmare brought to you from above through the chemtrail spraying and through uh, from your clothing through the GMO modifications. We're talking about an intolerably horrible disease. You know what? I'm going to skip this um, break so we have time here. We're going to break about 20 seconds on the Internet. We'll still be live. We're going to come back and take calls. But when we get back, I want to ask General Stubblebine about Kim Trails, his expert opinion on that, as well as Dr. Labo. But uh, let's continue talking about how they're forcing the GMO into countries right now with our guest. GMO cotton uh, fails because it's not drought-resistant. The farmers go bankrupt because they have to keep using more and more pesticides. And they, the second year, they don't have the money to pay back, nor do they have the money for the new crop seeds because GMO seeds can't be saved, as uh, General Stubblebine was saying, and as you've said so many times on your program. And now we have farmers who are destitute, and Monsanto quite happily kicks them off the land. They migrate to the cities where their families have no hope whatsoever. And if you've never seen abject poverty in Africa, in Ethiopia, specifically Ethiopia, Kenya, 
South Africa, if you've never India. seen India, you have no concept what that means. You're talking cities of 50 million, 20 million people, dead bodies laying around, human feces everywhere, hundreds of thousands of starving children. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Let me say, Alex, that I will live for the rest of my days with an image of a starving Ethiopian woman making the international sign for feed me, bringing her, her fingers to her lips, staring at me with absolutely dead, hopeless eyes. I will live with that graven in my consciousness for the rest of my life. That is unnecessary, and it's being brought about by globalization for the purposes of the globalizers who are... And, and I wanted to explain, that, 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 and I've seen the documents on this and studies, Monsanto and others will lose money. And they said, well, back in 99, the director, they said, we are trying to contaminate everything. We are trying to take over. And, and then the world will soon be contaminated with our GMO. We have the patent, and then we rule Earth. And so they are, this is meant to just devastate. This is eugenics. Go ahead. So the, uh, the food supply is devastated. The, the cotton supply, uh, the cotton won't grow. The farmers are, are uh, pushed off their land. Monsanto gets the land. And now we have 128,000 heads of families dying primarily by drinking a half a cup of the very pesticide that has bankrupted them. We are talking about people, the face of humanity, being altered by this technology for its own purposes. It is not necessary to eat this food. It is and, not necessary to wear these products. And for for wicked, yuppies, self-centered people, you're not escaping it. Yeah, I hear them laugh. Yeah, get rid of them. They're black. They're Indian. Uh, you are not immune. This is all being done to you as a soft kill weapon. It's just being done slower. They haven't turned the ambient background up as high. But farms and ranches, most of them are being lost. I mean, most are gone. The, our society is now being imploded. So now we, we, for being passive and not being involved and not fighting back like General Stubblebine was saying, we are now sowed the wind. We're going to reap the whirlwind. And as we come back, finish up, Dr. Labo and uh, General Stubblebine, on what you're seeing in Central America with them forcing it in. Uh, here we go. Back live, got 27 minutes left. I want to go to at least five of your calls. Sean, Toby, Robert, Sherry, and Dan from Washington to Illinois. Maybe get a few foreign callers in there as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let, let's try to compartmentalize the info now and get it out as fast as possible. So I want to go to calls here in just a few minutes uh, with both of our guests. Uh, finishing up, uh, how they force the GMO into countries, uh, how it devastates the people. Even where it's illegal, they run what I would call, what the news call, intelligence operations to go in and secretly plant this stuff in research facilities. Absolutely. Uh, I want to say that there is a famine predicted by very, very um, intelligent folks looking at what's happening to our food supply. I've posted an article on our Health Freedom blog called The Famine of 2009. If anybody in America thinks that we're not reaping that whirlwind, as you said, wait until their plates are empty and there are food riots, because that's where we're going, unless we start growing our own. And, yes, Panama has been contaminated. Brazil, um, New Zealand was contaminated, even though it was a, a GMO-free zone by national decree. Uh, or by national law, the U.S. shipped uh, genetically modified corn and wheat to New Zealand for three years before they, quote, discovered the mistake, end quote. And this because is key. New Zealand is growing pharmaceutical cows whose milk and meat delivers drugs. And they're now putting cross-species pigs mixing them, I, I just saw this in the BBC a few weeks ago, that have had human genetics added to them, so the uh, body parts that can be used, valves and things, won't be rejected. The, they're now saying it's safe for us to eat, eat, uh, eat cloned food, milk from cloned cows, and to eat cows that are part human. Uh, speak to that. I mean, the nightmare just goes on and on. And, and then General Stubblebine, uh, chemtrails. Well, the chemtrails uh, are another phenomenon that's uh, being used to, uh, you know, essentially poison all of the the, the folks that are uh, going to be uh, subjected to wherever the chemtrails finally, or the pieces of the chemtrails finally land. Uh, these things, <clears throat> the 
you can see them. Normally, if you uh, look up in the sky and you see an airplane and a little uh, a fume or a plum comes out of, out of the rear, that normally is a contrail, and it disappears. Uh, so you hold up uh, your, your fingers uh, about two inches, and it uh, that should disappear. These are not contrails. They are uh, chemtrails. And they do not disappear. The plane will fly all the way across the, from horizon to horizon, uh, putting out this, uh, uh, these chemical toxins, uh, that, uh, essentially then fall to the ground, fall to the earth. And, that's- and what do you do? You breathe them. Y- sir, you you're- breathe this stuff. You're- and furthermore, mm-hmm. what they do is they crisscross. So it looks like a, a, a tic-tac-toe up in the sky.